you've chosen all of you a very interesting time to be in your physical bodies first of all it's the leading edge and it's what you really wanted but there is so much information that is available to you you must become a better sifter you must become more discerning which means you must use other criteria other than shatter the glass ceiling or accomplish the goals that you've had for so much of your life you want to shift them into the goals that will really serve you and the goal that we are encouraging is the goal of being satisfied now and being satisfied now and being satisfied now you probably heard the story we're going to tell it again because we really want to make this point with you so what is the feeling of satisfaction well let's just start by saying it's being other than unsatisfied if you can't find what a feeling of satisfaction really feels like because it isn't quite relief it's contentment it's satisfaction it's the feeling that there's no time crunch there's not anything that I need to do right now other than what I'm doing and what I'm doing is just right it's that feeling it's that feeling of sort of giving into the moment not trying to make the moment something that it isn't not demanding of yourself something that you can't give right now settling into the moment and letting this moment be all right it's a feeling of satisfaction it's a feeling of That's feel challenging it's a feel well stay with us a little bit and stop arguing for your limitations Yes, I'm going to be my own superhero like those guys next door. You're asking too much of yourself. No, not at all. I'm freaking tapped in and Don't tuned on. Don't be a superhero. It's too much to ask right now. Just get satisfied. Just be a little satisfied. So Esther's on an airplane and she's, it's a Delta flight. We know you've heard it. We're going to tell you again. She likes where she's sitting. She likes the elbow room. And she said really loud in her own mind, I am so satisfied. The flight is already in the air. So then she puts her seat back and oh, it went more than that far. It went that far. Then she thought, mm, I think I'll put my headphones on. So she put her earplugs, she put her earplugs in, put some nice music on that she likes, took her Delta blanket out of its wrapper and kind of covered herself up in it, got herself just situated in the seat just right and her legs just at the right and she with her neck pillow and she just sat back and she thought I am so satisfied no one is asking anything of me there's nothing that I need to do other than what I am doing I can sleep or listen I'm so satisfied I'm so satisfied and she meant it and then a flight attendant she had barely closed her eyes tapped her on the shoulder and he said I've warmed this bottle of water for you in the microwave I thought it might make you more comfortable and Esther thought for just a moment do I look old and feeble <laughs> and then she thought no I'm radiating how satisfied I am and everyone in my vibrational vicinity is wanting to get in on the game with me that really is what happens when you strike a vibrational pose the universe at large <laughs> I told you I was going to be my own kind of superhero reaching for fun is good too <laughs> but when you strike a vibrational pose the universe cooperates when you strike a pose of dissatisfaction the universe responds to that as well